So now in this video, we come back to the 7660 integrated circuit right there. And depending on who made it, there may be letters in front of it. There's no letters in front of the 7660 for uh, this particular one. And so it may just be a uh, generic brand. But in any case, I have it wired right up, wired up right now as a voltage doubler. And so last video, we created a negative voltage, which kind of doubles the voltage because you got still 5 volt positive but then you got 5 volts negative as well so there's a 10 volt difference but in relationship to ground you have 5 volt positive 5 volt negative this one we actually have a it's not going to be 10 volts because you can see we got a couple diodes here so there's going to be some drop but there you can see it's pretty close to uh, 10 volts right there it is a 5 volt power supply I'm just using the uh, breadboard power supply that you see up here and so we're gonna add a load coming up because this really cannot power much as we will see coming up and so in any case we have this capacitor here so this capacitor is charging you can see the positive rail there and the uh, diode so the anode is there cathode is over here so when that's more positive that's more negative current flows it charges the capacitor when uh, pin number two up there is uh, more negative so that's what it's doing it's going negative positive at uh, that pin so when it's negative it charges then when it goes positive we got a charge capacitor here plus the voltage there it starts pushing voltage this way so you can see it's higher than 5 volts and I think it's bouncing uh, between about 5 volts and a uh, higher than 7.3 any case and I think the meter is just kind of averaging it out and giving us a steady voltage and I think it's changing really fast but we have a steady voltage so that would be a good thing to measure with the oscilloscope but uh, any case there you can see we got more than 5 volts there we come to uh, this pass so so that builds up this capacitor is to the negative rail there and then so when this capacitor charges up and then gets put in series with the power supply it charges this capacitor to almost twice the uh, voltage as you can see there so the diode drops come in play very little current going right now practically none and so the diode drops aren't as bad as they could be so I'm gonna take a 10 kilo ohm resistor now we're actually gonna add a load and this is a high value uh, resistance because uh, I hope I said resistor earlier it's a resistor not a capacitor but in any case there you go so we don't expect the LED to be very bright because uh, it's a 10 kilo ohm resistor anyways but uh, there you can see the LED let us look at the voltage now you can see it's only 5 volts and so it's uh, pointless right now with uh, this setup here so that's a 10 kilo ohm resistor what we're gonna do turn the uh, power supply off I'll turn the meter off after it's on a while it starts beeping but we're gonna yank the uh, capacitors you might as well give it a quick discharge so that uh, if we put it into another circuit at any point so I'm just going negative rail to negative rail and uh, the power supply was turned off so I didn't have to worry about charging it backwards if I accidentally uh, connected it backwards to the power supply rail but in any case now these are 100 microfarad capacitors right there so make sure it is discharged might as well do this one first this one's pretty straightforward we put the negative side of it all of these are electrolytic capacitors you got to keep the uh, negative side the side with the dash more negative positive over there as we saw here uh, this one connection up here is more positive than ground so we go there and then we put that to pin 2 the power is off right now so if I miswire uh, no big deal but in any case there we go so now that's it we just swapped the two capacitors for larger value capacitors and hopefully the LED is brighter there and again it's a 10 kilo ohm resistor so it's not going to be terribly bright uh, no matter what and there you can see 8.6 volts so so far so good now let's yank out the 10 kilo ohm resistor and so we are going to get a couple diode drops and so we don't expect we'll get 10 volts but it's almost double so there you can see a one kilo ohm resistor the LED is quite a bit brighter 
now let's see how the uh, voltage is holding right there and still not uh, terribly bad I don't think and uh, if we had a better integrated circuit this only costs like 30 cents though so it's uh, pretty nice for this setup we have uh, almost twice the voltage pretty straightforward and now we're getting an okay amount of uh, current going through there so now let us let's look at that again at the voltage that's being held there so 8 volts we can look at the voltage across the resistor to know the current that is flowing through there so that's 6.28 volts remember the LED has a uh, voltage uh, it blocks a little bit of voltage and uh, it blocks about 1 point probably 8 volts or something and uh, so the rest of the voltage goes across the uh, resistor there and the resistor sets the uh, current so that's going to be about 6.3 milliamps of current in any case let's look at the voltage again and then we're going to uh, so 8.1 we're going to yank this one out and get half of the resistance actually 470 ohms so a little less than half the resistance and let's see how the voltage is holding there so there again it's uh, dropping a little bit more but still it is quite a bit more than five volts of the rail about uh, one and a half times so what we can do turn the power off again make sure we discharge them and go with an even larger value capacitor and on both of them and so we're going to take the uh, 470 microfarad capacitor and so I don't think there's a whole lot you can do uh, that one didn't discharge it had a charge on it I don't you don't need the exact same values at all really and I don't know what so let's uh, oh yeah we gotta go up there that's right so that way right there forgot what I was doing for a second so I don't think they have to be equal values at all I'm trying to think of the best way to do if you do unequal values I think you would want this one larger and uh, that one smaller uh, if anything but uh, in any case let's turn the uh, power on if you're going to use uneven values so so let us look at uh, the voltage at that capacitor there it was a point one so it looks like we're not doing any better I don't think with uh, these than we were with the 100 microfarad so these are 470 microfarad those are 100 microfarad that uh, we used last time so I'm thinking probably 100 microfarad is all you need so these are big they're obnoxious doesn't look like it's it's helping anymore and let's look at the voltage across there yeah 7.1 yeah so in any case that's uh, what we just saw so the 10 microfarad on the data sheet was not enough for this under this much load so about 5 milliamps of current it looks like you're probably let's turn the power off probably best off with a hundred microfarad and let's take a look at that one more time these will plug in really quick just in case I forgot something but it looks like a hundred microfarad actually works pretty good for this setup right here so about five milliamps so there are limits so now they have ways in the data sheet of connecting more of these in parallel as I said they're only about 60 cents each one of them though needs one of these uh, capacitors one of the charged ones they can share the uh, charged one but uh, in any case let's look at that voltage again we gotta go to the negative rail yeah 7.6 so I don't think that's any worse than the 470 microfarad so 100 microfarad I think you should use that data sheet just showed uh, 10 microfarad I don't know how much current is uh, too much for this I haven't found that on the data sheet yet and so so far this seems to be doing okay so I uh, I feel okay using it this much but uh, definitely if you got something critical you would want to make sure you find out the maximum current that you can expect this to handle so in any case I rambled on a bit and double check some of my measurements but otherwise I think this went okay so 
I'm just going to upload this uh, single shot as is. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.